Hello Beats friends! I am here with a new video for a new creation of mine. I created these two earrings and um, it's uh, an embroidery beadwork. I used an oval quartz rose cabochon, the size uh, um, is uh, 18 per 30 millimeters and uh, I add some beads, uh, toco beads size 11 and uh, add some other beads size 15, maybe in the UK, I don't remember and also to create this uh, embroidery beadwork I used this kind of glue and I have a lot of things to say about this glue uh, maybe you are wondering why I decided to use this glue because uh, I know that uh, this super glue is not uh, the perfect glue for uh, the embroidery beadwork okay and just for this reason I I wanted to try um, this kind of glue because I wanted to know which uh, were the problems in using this glue I used this glue to uh, glue my oval cabochon on my ultra suede and in this case uh, there wasn't any problems at all okay while when I used this glue to glue my mm, two clothes my two ultra suede the front part and the back part I noticed that uh, the, the, the ultra suede becomes harder okay and sometimes it was very difficult for the needle to sew through the cloth okay so remember never use this kind of glue to glue the two cloth the front part and the back part but maybe you can use it to fix your pieces your component on your ultra suite okay for me there was no problem okay naturally i think it's always better to use the specific glue for the embroidery beadwork okay <laughs> but i'd like to make these tries because I think that sometimes uh, you didn't find the right glue or uh, you don't have the right glue in, in that uh, precise moment and so you need uh, maybe some alternatives, okay? Sometimes it happens to me, okay? <laughs> now I will show you the beadwork closely. These are the color of beads I used. I used the toco beads, seed beads, size 11 and this is the number of the color. 557 and then also I used some Yuki seed beads size 15 and this is the number of the color 188 this is the color wonderful and this is the earring this is the quartz rose oval cabochon 18 millimeters per 13 millimeters as you see I made a round of seed beads size 11 all around my oval uh, cabochon and then I made this other round of uh, seed beads size 15 then I put on my beadwork uh, these uh, three Swarovski this is the one of the Swarovski stress uh, I used in the back part they, are, they have these uh, two tunnels you can see it as a cross and you can pass uh, through these uh, tunnels uh, with your needle to sew through this uh, Swarovski stress uh, on your cloth okay sorry but I don't remember the size of this component maybe 4 millimeters okay so as you see I saw these uh, three Swarovski stress uh, sides maybe 4 millimeters and then I surround these uh, three Swarovski stresses with uh, some gold seed beads size 11 and then also I made another round of seed beads size 15 that's because um, I didn't fix the um, gold beads uh, size 11 to the Swarovski stress okay but I saw the seed beads size 11 uh, to the cloth to the ultra suede okay and so I really needed to make this other round because if you fix uh, the beads to the ultra suede you can see the, mm, the set of uh, the Swarovski stress okay I don't know if it's if it's clear but if you saw the Swarovski stress on the cloth and if you saw the beads all around the Swarovski stress on the cloth too you can see the set of the Swarovski stress you can see the metal parts of the Swarovski stress and they are very horrible 
believe me or try it if you don't believe me so you have two options the first one is to fix the delicate bits all around the stress to the stress and not to the cloth or also you need to make another round of beads upon the stress and that's what I did so after completing this uh, part with the Swarovski stresses and with the quartz rose oval cabochons I made another round of delicate pizza size 11 all around my work and then I put on the back part of my embroidery work another piece of ultra suede and before putting my piece of ultra suede I put this post, this finding on my work okay the last step was making another round of seed beads size 15 here they are all around my work to define the edges of my work okay and that's all it's very simple but I like this style to create these earrings I used one of these needles this one, maybe the smallest I think that the length maybe is 40 millimeters but I don't know but they are smaller than a John James size 15 millimeters okay I think that this this needle is stronger and harder than the John James size 10 and very more other and strong than John James size 12 but uh, I think that the diameter of this needle is bigger than a John James size 10 and I'm saying that because before using uh, seed beads size 11 I was trying to use uh, Charlotte beads size 13 and uh, many times this Miyuki needle broke my Charlotte beads and so I think that concerning the diameter this uh, Miyuki needle is bigger than a John James size 10 okay and so this is my first opinion about these uh, Miyuki needles you have to consider that um, while I was working uh, for creating my earrings sometimes uh, the cloth was very hard because I had used uh, the super glue and as you can see the shape of the needle isn't change yes it's a little bit curved but uh, if you consider how much I stressed this needle it's nothing okay I hope that everything was understandable and see you soon on the next video bye bye